We're here with Loveland head varsity football coach, Coach Cranford, holding the Witten Woods offense, one of the best offenses in the state, to six points tonight. I don't even have a specific question. I'm just going to let you comment on the Loveland defense. Well, I, you know, you speak specifically of Witten Woods offense, but I, that's really how I feel about, uh, or, you know, that's how I feel about Loveland's defense. Um, I, I think we've got an exceptional defense that can match up against anybody. That's an exceptional football team. There's no doubt about it. Uh, a lot of athletes, a lot of skills. I hope to see them again. Um, you know, and that, that just means we're going to have to continue and do our part for the next three weeks. This for us, I think, was an entire community win. Um, you know, it wasn't just the offense doing what they needed to do, defensively stepping up, you, you know, um, as big as they have. Special teams, I thought, did a phenomenal job kicking away, punting away. Um, and then that 12th man, that crowd was just unbelievable. So kudos, I think, to the community, um, you know, to be in this position. We got three games left, ECC. We're not, you know, those are three big games for us. We're going to take one week at a time and not let anything slip, uh, slip through the cracks. So it was a great win. All right, on offense, a lot of surprises from the Loveland Tigers tonight, as usual. Talk to me a little bit about what the muddle huddle was and why that's advantageous, especially against a good defense like Winton Woods. Well, it's just it's just a little hiccup in what we do, a little wrinkle. I mean, it, it served very little purpose except, it, you know, it's high school football just to get kids thinking. Um, so you know, they hadn't seen it. Why not? You know, and, uh, you know, will we use it again? Questionable. I'm not sure. But, you know, we felt tonight it would, uh, it would definitely help us out. Uh, and just, low, you know, getting up to the line of scrimmage, executing. So, you know, I can't say it was a great advantage to us, but I think it keep, keeps people on their toes a little bit, trying to, you know, find our formations, find our strengths, if you will. So, um, you know, it's outside of that, you know, hands down defensively and, you know, it's kind of speechless, really. It's just, it was an overall great, great win. All right, and for viewers that are unfamiliar with the muddle huddle, that is when you line up all the backs directly behind the quarterback in an I formation, and then immediately before the snap, you move them into their respective formations, whether it be wide receiver behind the quarterback as a running back may be. And that, all that does is uh, it keeps the defense on their toes, and they don't know what's coming, a pass, a run, a pitch. They don't know. And lastly, talked about seeing Witten Woods again. There's three games ahead of you. What are the postseason implications after a game like tonight for the Loveland Tigers? Well, the magnitude of Harbin points on the line. You know, both teams six and zero, oh, both in the same region. Uh, it was, an, you know, no-brainer for each of us to take those points and run. Um, so, you know, obviously, is a great advantage to us now. And but week 11, uh, we'll deal with week 11 as it comes. Uh, but you know, next week's Walnut, so we're gonna come out, start start over tomorrow, and, and prepare and make sure we're we're on our best day game uh, for the ECC. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Good luck next week against Walnut Hills. I'm Ricky Mulvey reporting at Winton Woods High School for Loveland Magazine TV.